week now and I just haven't had any time to edit. We're back in San Diego guys. Um, enough wasting time. Let's just get right into this video. Some early morning activities with, with the boy. It's early in the morning, he's already popping. I don't know about you guys, but um, something about cruising in the morning or like just hanging out in the morning while there's daylight out is such a vibe. I've grown to actually hate driving my car at night um, just because cops are out more and uh, sometimes you can't even see the bad roads. I don't know. Daytime hangs low-key are the best for me at least. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it before guys, but you guys know I don't really like putting stickers on my car just because it takes away a lot from the uh, clean look. But guys, this sticker is an exception because uh, the boys over at Overdue did decide to sponsor me. He said, you know what, I'm gonna send you out a banner and I just go ahead and rock it. This is my first official sponsor. Cool thing is actually that they are local to me, so um, they've always been around here in San Diego for a while now. I've always known about them. And uh, I mean, I never knew they would reach out to me for a sponsorship, but here we are guys. I hope we did do a good job. It's probably not gonna be perfect. Yeah, I don't know if people be putting banners on their car, bro. This, this came out so bad. So many bubbles. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. That's horrible. That's how it came out. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't look too bad to be honest, but I'm gonna go ahead and get all these air bubbles out real quick. All right, y'all, let me go ahead and explain to you guys what's going on real quick. Pretty much what I'm gonna go ahead and do is recut my quarter panels. And um, about this much, as you guys can see, I already kind of like put my finger through it. Um, just because I wanna be able to air out lower in the rear. And as you guys can see right here, where my seal was and the welds, it's actually coming apart because when I ride low, the tire just kind of grinds on it and over time it just grinded off the adhesive. The only way to prevent that now is to cut higher and reseal it so that hopefully the tire never touches this again. So let me just go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about real quick. I'm going to go ahead and air out the car and uh, you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about. They're literally pulling out on the quarter panel. As you guys can see it clears right here as well as in the rear. This is a fender liner, it's not a problem. But um, it just doesn't clear right here. So my plan pretty much, like I said, is just recut it and uh, seal it up here. Hopefully I'll be able to air out lower as well as ride lower. Same thing on this side as you guys can see. We got slammed enough next weekend and um, I wanna be able to sit lower for the show. Chris, slide through real quick. I need a, I need a mic slide through. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even get to finish. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, guys. So if this is your first time cutting uh, for a wide body kit, you're not gonna have this um, little situation right here because mine are, were already welded. If you are cutting it for the first time, this will literally just come right off. So right now, I'm just deciding whether I wanna go ahead and make these slits a little bigger and uh, weld them right here or just cut this whole thing off and uh, put a piece of sheet metal Got both sides done. We'll go ahead and put the fenders on real quick and uh, go ahead and air out the car. I'm actually very excited to see how it's gonna look. Alright y'all, so it definitely went down a little lower um, before it was like above this ridge, right before these letters start, I'll say like right there, and um, now it's well under that ridge, same thing on this side. Alright guys, so like I said, nothing is welded just yet, so if for whatever reason it's still hitting the frame, um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut more tomorrow before it gets welded. If it's not hitting the frame guys, um, I still do have like a little bit more thread to go, and um, I'll just go ahead and max out the bag. And some more before it gets welded up, I'm gonna go ahead and cut more if I need to. But uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it like this. Hopefully I can ride lower now. I don't ride too low, but I ride low enough to the point where if I go over like a little bump too fast, you'll hear my tire and uh, where it was cut like screech a little bit. Hopefully this eliminates that, guys. Alright y'all, so pretty much what just went down was after you cut your slits, um, like I said, make sure you go high enough so that you're able to air out lower or ride lower, whatever you're on. And um, before welding, you want to go ahead and grind it so it's bare metal. Like I was saying, uh, you want to go ahead and get it to the bare metal so that the, the weld could stick better and um, you have no problems with it unsticking. Then, once it's all welded guys, you guys are going to want to go ahead and put some adhesive on there just to seal it up and uh, make it secure. Yeah, I was in an attempt to do the car, but i let him do his thing. Oh shit, you need your gloves, bro. Shout out to the boy right there. Got the cuts welded. 
there is still a little bit of gaps guys but that's the whole point of the sealant as you guys can see i got some sealant right here all these little gaps right here guys will be filled up with sealant so i'm gonna go ahead and put that on right now and uh that's the final touch guys All right, y'all, super dark outside, so late now. Um, I finished up the sealant, the welds were done, and uh, this is the seal we have. Looks overkill, but I was not about to let any water get in there. Completely sealed on this side. Let's go ahead and check out the other side. Same thing. Make sure I put all the sealant uh, what you guys see right there is just the uh, fender liner. Don't worry about that But like I said guys as you guys can see it's super dark outside uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up this video tomorrow guys I'm so excited to see how it's gonna turn out it's gonna be even lower now I know in the previous clip you guys saw me cutting it up and then lowering it But I ended up cutting it just a little bit more uh, so that I can go even lower I haven't tested it out just yet guys, but tomorrow in the morning. I'm for sure gonna test it out I'm super tired right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up the camera tomorrow guys mm -hmm. 